Here it comes. Drew Charlin. Looking for passes to pass over. A shot. And they score! The Traverse City North Stars have found a way to put the puck behind the netminder between the pipes over the blue line, and it's a goal! That's right, we are a 4-1 to hockey game now, and I'm excited just to see a goal get put on the board by the red and white. 4-1 to with 523 left in the game. We just want the puck in our zone again, that's all we want. We got a chance here. Who's this? Who is that? Oh, Goss? A shot! And it's a goal! Drew Davison has put the dagger in the heart of the black and the gold team. The dagger's hit home, and they will not get their shutout. It will be a one goal score by the Traverse City North Stars. We love you, and we'll be. That's a good play. Pomona's going to try to come in his own. Pass that over. Shot! Oh, rebounds were there. Trevor C. starting to play some hockey. Shot! He scored! That's right! Bold way! That's right, he's doing number 11. The bull waster puts the puck in the back of the net. It's a two to one hockey game. Cook is gonna bring his puck up. Number 93 is looking to find the truth, but passes it to Dawson. Dawson with a shot. Rebounds are there. Oh, it was so close. Here comes Klusterman. And it's a goal. That puck was put up front. And, and I was zoomed in. I do believe that was Kusterman that set that play up. I'm not sure if he's the one that scored the goal, but we have a one nothing lead. Hudson Robertson shot from way out, rebounds. And that's right. If you're in the right place at the right time, you may find a way to put that buck home. That's exactly what I believe that was. Let's get his name and number. That was Joel Sasina with his first goal of the year. Congratulations. Here comes Kusterman's going to go work hard in the end boards there in the corner. Pass out front. Nice move there. Who's that? Sorensen will put that puck home. It is a 3 nothing lead. This has been a great hockey game today, and we look forward to many more in the year. This will be our first win on the year as we went to it for a Detroit trip. Here comes Charlin on his own. Charlin's going to be moving in. He's going to make a move. A shot. He goes top corner. Top corner over the glove. Charlie was like, I'm just going to put that puck up in the top corner and you're going to do nothing about it there, Mr. Flax. That minder. That's exactly what he did. We have a 6-2 to two hockey game. Liam Ford. Here comes Blake Weaver again. A shot. That net minder will just... That is a goal. Andrew Beatty put that puck home. And that is a loose change goal that will make it a 5-2. North Star lead with the Rockford Rams. We're coming hard trying to tie this game. Could have been ahead of the defense. Pass out front. No one there. Another shot from way out. There's a rebound. That's in the net. Who was that? Boosterman, I believe, got a hold of that puck. And it's a one-to-one -one hockey game. Burkholder. 
Soper. Soper's got three on two coming in the zone. He's gonna bring it on outside. A shot. He goes over the net. Rebounds are there. It's a goal by you know who. Who was that? You know who. I'm trying to see who that was. It looks like that was Charlin once again. Charlin's got his first goal again. That's a break. A shot. And yes, Jackson Soper puts it home. Empty net goal. Put this game away. Here's number 13. Buck will get in the zone. Cap in the zone. Nice play there. Shot. And it's a goal. That puck is put on by Drew Davidson. And Traverse City will come to Grand Rapids and make the trip worthwhile with a win on the road. Four to two hockey play. Here comes Pomondin. Wrap around. Oh, he scores! That puck found a way between the shoulder and the post. And that's why you take the puck to the net, no matter what the situation. And Joel Pondin, Joel Pomondin puts an explanation point on effort. And it is a one to nothing hockey game on a shorthanded goal there. Al Goss moving up the ice, gonna try to make a move. He's gonna backhand that puck into the zone. A pass over in front. Oh, that puck did find a way as the defenseman of Grand Rapids tried to clear the puck. And he put the puck behind his net minder on his own behalf. And what a mistake that was, but that's hockey, ladies and gentlemen. We've all seen that in games. And it is a two to one hockey game. Boards. Good attempt, good good steal there. It was a wraparound. Shot! Oh, and that is Calvin Kusterman with an absolute amazing slap shot as he had one chance in the game today and he capitalized number four as I did the spotlight on that kid today. Great play, Mr. Kusterman. It is three to one. Once again, he passes. Oh, gosh, a shot! Had a shot on goal. Set up. Oh, that puck just skirted to the left side. Robertson's going to have a good shot from the center. Oh, he puts it home. And Robertson lifts the puck off the ice and finds a way to the back of the twine. We've got a 4-1 to one hockey game, and the home crowd is going wild. The defenders are there. Once again, Charlotte was going for a deflection there. That didn't happen. Pass across. Run up. Rebound. And that's right. Charlotte's on the doorstep. And Charlotte says, let's cut the lead in half and make this a two-to-one hockey game. Single A. Travel hockey. We are at center ice once again. West Arena. The ice is heating up. It is three to one. Oh, and what a beautiful play from Klusterman. That's right, what a pass. That pass went over. And I believe that was Drew Davidson that put that puck home. It was number 24. What a pass. Tried to move that puck in the zone. Now I can't help but call that number Sawyer Rogers over and over on D. Ooh, a pass over to Klusterman, a shot! And he scores! Klusterman had him dead in the right! That's right! Tim didn't know what to do! The goaltender! The goaltender number one, Nick Tim, was sitting there with a perfect cross-ice pass to Calvin Klusterman. 
Had him dead in the rights and Kusterman did not come up short and put the puck to the back of the net. It is a tree to tree hockey game. Charlotte, nice little dipsy down. Charlotte's in. What a shot. Charlotte did his dipsy tattle. I'm talking stick handling magic. And he found a way to go top corner on the goaltender, Tim. And it is a four to three hockey game on home ice. That puck will just roll down in the zone. I do believe Tyler Boyd Fisher has left the... He has left the ice. Put over. Who's that? The sign of the extra attacker. The sign in the middle. Pass over. A scores! What a pass by Zasina over to Drew Davison. And we have a one goal hockey game with one minute and 14 seconds left. It is six to five. Can't puck out of harm's way. Zasina. Zasina pushes that puck up. Here comes Zasina. Trying to get his wheels moving. He's going to go to the outside. Lost the puck momentarily. There's going to be a shot. And it's a goal! That is! That's right, Mr. Lewis! Brady Lewis capitalizes on a free puck at the blue line. Has a little time and space. And it is a one-to-one -one hockey game. But it'll be tipped. There'll be no icing there. 12 20 left in the second period. It is still two to one game. Charlotte's gonna have a chance to make a move. Side shot. Oh, he had a center and pass. Could not get that to connect with that player. Oh, rebounds. And it's in the net. That puck found a way through a complete maze of players. And that is why you put the puck on net. You never know how that puck is gonna bounce. And it is a two to two hockey game. Here comes a play by Klusterman in the outside. He's got Charlotte in the middle. Pass, shot, he scores! Drew Charlotte took the beautiful pass by Calvin. Caveman, Klusterman, and it is a four to three hockey tilt. Thank you for playing together, Traverse City. That's what it's all about. Vanrilla, good defense there by Kusterman. Vini's gonna turn those jets on. He's got three defenders to get around. Boy, is that kid fast. A pass over to Kusterman, shot! Yes, go! Kusterman has a wicked wrister to the right corner of the net. And it is a two to one. Another rebound. Out goes the wrap Rappel. Couldn't quite make it around the post, but what an attempt by number 17. Looks like Alcos's skates are moving today. Ooh, deflection shot. Yeah! And Andrew Beatty will answer the bell. It is a one nothing lead for the Trader City North Stars. Fire up your engines. It is the second period. We have a 2-1 hockey game. Traverse City North Stars are leading. Grand Rapids Fox Motors Hockey Club. Score 2-1. to one. Here comes Andrew Beatty with that speed of backhand. Oh, look at the forehand. Wow. wow. He fooled me. I thought that was a backhand. At the last second, he shot at the forehand and fooled Bronco, the goaltender. And we have a three to one hockey game. Way to play, Andrew Beattie. The power play has started now. One more time left on the power play out to Burke Holder. Burke Holder, pass up. Weaver! Burke Holder is in position. Yeah. Weaver had the right idea, but did not pick a spot on the net. And that minor was in the way. He just needs his old man's confidence. 
And there is Come the on, be strong. Still on the power by Brady Lewis. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Defense. Go Brady! But that puck acted like it had seen eyes, like a submarine. It found a way to trickle through the bodies. And behind Porco for a 4 to 2 lead. Oh, defenseman falls down. We got ahead of Steve and Charlie. Charlie's going to be in on the defensive shot. He's And he was 1-0 versus that goaltender from West Kent Hawks. And he put it to the far side. Back to action we go, Elgoss. Gonna come back in the zone, try, try to get in the offense. Good move there. Elgoss moved the inside, he's gonna get a chance. He's in, a shot, he scores! Elgoss makes a move around the team. Says I'm going in and I'm getting my first goal of the year right now. You're not gonna stop me, West Kent Hawks. That's exactly what he did. And we have a two to two deadlock with 11:26 left in the third period. That's what we love to see right there. Face off. Sign a shot. Oh, he shot a goal through. Puts the puck on that, and we have a tie game. He put the puck on that, and it bobbled through the pads, through the body of Williams, and we have a tie game with one minute 14 left in the third period. And looks like we might go to overtime. For a chance, a little toe drag action. Looking for a shot on goal to get by the net. Back in there. A shot! He scores! It's Drew Sherwood that puts the game away! And the goaltender from the West Kent Hawks is not happy, but the concentration was off, and Charlotte and Goss were in the right spot to team up. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. That puck will stay in the offensive zone. Jackson Soper will push it down the boards. Oh! Rodenroth gets right back up after that collision with the boards. Pass out, cut off. Charlin, backhand pass. Soper was there, another backhand. He scores! That's Caleb Rodenroth with a backhand. Loose puck came out in front of the net, and Caleb made no mistake. It is a one to one. Hockey competition. This puck will go behind the net in the offensive zone for Honda Blue. There you go. Kusterman is in alone by himself. He's going to go against number 34. A shot. He scores. Calvin K. Man. Kusterman made no mistake and put the puck to the back of the twine. That puck will move up to Blake Weaver. Blake Weaver comes through the D. Blake Weaver's going to skate hard. Blake Weaver's going to be in alone. Number nine, he sets up. Oh, a shot. Oh, what a goal. Blake Weaver did the fake shot and went to the forehand. What a great move as he just paused for action for a second and then skated to the right side and fooled Sherry for a three to three tie. Rodenroth, here comes Charlotte as he lost his skate for a second, his edge. Rodenroth's gonna come over, he's gonna look for a pass. Gathered up by that, go up. oh, Charlotte! Charlotte takes the rebound, finds some time and space. Puts the puck on the ice, keeps it low, and finds a way through that group of people, and it is a four to three. Hockey game stopped on the sideboards. That puck will go around the side. Kusterman's gonna get that puck. Kusterman working hard. Alec Goss. I saw hockey stop there. Comes out, tries to set up a 
A shot by Kusterman. And it, that is a goal. That puck just went through the wickets. And Kusterman, <laughs> Kusterman has got into it with that big number, McCray. McCray is ruffling everybody's feathers. And if this was semi-pro hockey, we would see a fight. Goss, Alec Goss going to try to get some speed going. He's going to go to the outside. Alec Goss going to be on the inside. Shot! Oh, that puck was just off the glove of the goaltender. Good attempt. Beanie. Beanie's got a chance. A shot from way out. A rebound. Alec Goss puts the puck home. And that will be... The three goal lead that the Traverse City North Stars were looking for as they have seemed to take over the game in the third period. Alagos is there in the doorstep waiting for a rebound and puts that loose change away. Five on four for Red and White. A shovel toward the net, a rebound, and a score! That is Blake Weaver. Blake Weaver just took the backhand off of a rebound. A little loose puck in front of the net. And Aaron, the goaltender, could not handle. And it is a one to one tie. It's got to be an offensive push now for Traverse City. Kusterman's going to come to the outside with that speed. Gets the outside, just now trying center and passes. Oh, there's a goal! Who is that? Andrew Speedy Beatty is on the doorstep of an outstanding rebound. And I'm here to tell you, I'm standing up top looking down. And that puck was moving at a high rate of speed. And what a talented hockey player as he picked the puck up and deposited it to the back of the twine. Destroyed that player. Ooh, Andrew Speedy Beatty is in. Oh, what a goal! Mr. Beatty has got so much speed, and he flips the puck up into the top of the net. I'll tell you what, I love watching that player as he blazes up and down the ice and makes plays like that. This puck will go all the way down, and Nick Tim will... Slow that puck down, number four. Luke Miller's gonna go behind the net. Wow, oh, another chance. Oh, and that is, I believe that is a, let me see that number. Yes, that is a Drew Davidson. That right, that is a Drew Davidson right there. Every time you turn around, Drew Davidson is making a great play. Love that player as well. We've got a two to nothing game. Just what the doctor ordered, ladies and gentlemen. By number 91, Madden Pateman. Augusta moves this puck up. Do not give that puck away to number 24. Three on one coming. They're in the zone onside. A pass over to Pomondin. Pomondin puts the puck away. That's how you do it, Joe. I'm looking at this guy saying he just had a chance to score a goal and he may have gripped the stick a little bit too tight but he got a second chance only a minute or two later and he puts a puck to the back of the net. We got a three to one hockey game. Oops. Pass over. Pomona couldn't handle it though. Another pass over to Charlin. Charlin. High score! Drew Charlin just put the puck on that. And sometimes when you put the puck on that, it will deflect through the pads and through the wickets. And that's exactly what I did. That puck went through the wickets. It is a one-to-one -one game in the championship final of the Traverse City Tournament. I feel like I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> Dave. Now here's a player that can make a difference, Drew Davidson. Drew Davidson needs to bury this puck and tie this shootout. Razor Razor Sharp's heart is pumping. Here goes Drew Davidson. You can hear a pin drop. Davidson's 
Checking over his options. He's going to go forehand back in a shot. He scores! Drew Davis and goal stops! <laughs> oh, my! Drew Davis said went just under the bar where grandmother hides the cookies! Somehow, good defense in the middle there. Charlin, move that puck around the, behind the net for Pomona. Another pass out front. Charlin, pass out. The side of the shot. Deflections. And gets, it's a goal! Drew Charlin crashed the net. There was an empty. There was just little space on one side and the puck was loose. And Drew Charlin, I want to call him Dipsy Daddle, but I also want to call him Drew Crash the Net Charlin because he crashes the net so often. And it is a two to one hockey game. Thatcher Bowway moves that puck back up to Augusta. Lost in his feet, but gathered back up by Augusta. Good recovery. Weaver, a shot. And and that is Drew Davidson. Drew Johnny on the. Ooh, Jackson Sober had a shot on goal, but the net miner was in a good place. Rossworm. A shot by Sober. That puck is in the net. Jackson Sober puts that puck on net with a quick little wrist shot. That puck stayed on the ice, no lift, and found a way between the pads and the five hole. And we have a 2-1 game with three seconds left in the first period. Here goes Traverse City. That's Charlotte's coming up the ice with one defender, a pass over. That's going to be Ro Rodenroth has just held up when he was trying to take a shot on goal. That did not work out. Pass between the legs, a shot. Oh, what a goal that was. That was Joe Pomondin found a loose puck. And that all started from a between the legs pass of Drew Charlin, which deflected the puck. And it went over. And there was Pomondin to put it away. We have a three to one hockey game. 33 seconds left. Is there a miracle? Calvin Kusterman took a wrist shot from center ice and found a way to put it home. This game is put to bed at 4-1. to one. Both teams fought hard today. Both number 96 comes out of the hockey game as he's on the ice again. Pomondin stripped. No call. This puck is in the offensive zone for Traverse City. Lewis Doss is going to shoot that toward the net. Pomondin. Center and pass, out front, shot, and it is in the goal! Who was that? I believe that was somebody named Drew Crash the Net Charlotte! Drew Charlotte's got another one on the board. It is a two to one hockey game. That's Sandra Speedy Beanie. The wheels are moving, he's to the outside, to the inside, a shot, he scores! That's right, Andrew Speedy Beatty comes in on the wing and shows us his best impression of Sidney Crosby from the Olympic game from years ago. Same kind of shot, and it is a two to two hockey game. This will stay in the offensive zone for Traverse City, but there was a deflection there. Drew Davidson's going to pass to the center. A shot! Wow, that was a great chance. And another, another shot after that. That was Soper, a rebound. And who was it that scored that goal? I believe that was... I'm watching him skate off the ice. I believe that was Boldway. Thatcher Bowway has, I believe, his second goal of the year. Charlin passed that puck up to Lewis. We are in offensive zone. A, a shot. Rebounds. 
It's gonna go home! Guess who? Can you guess who just was standing at the door of another rebound goal? Yes, it is Drew Charlin once again. And it is a 4-4 to four game. I'm sorry, I'm starting to make up songs about this kid because he's always crashing the net. Out. It will be brought out. Burkholder is there to pinch in. That big body Burkholder stopped that puck. Here comes Soper. Soper was going for that puck. That puck, ooh, Soper puts the puck home! Soper is sitting on the doorstep waiting for a wraparound and that puck just got put to the other side and he said, I'll go backhand and I'll find the back of the twine. It is a one nothing game for Traverse City North Stars. And I believe that is Soper's third goal of this season. And he can make a move. Here comes Pomond and Charlin and Goss over the blue line. Pomond and lost control of the puck though. Kept in the zone. Now Goss pushed right into the boards. No penalty. Under two minutes left. Rebound. He scores! Pomond and finds a loose puck. And it is a two to two hockey game. Oh, wow, is that exciting. It looked like nothing was coming to life for the Traverse City faithful. And there was a hard shot, a rebound, and Pomodin was in the right spot at the right time. And it is a 2-2 two -to -two hockey game. Penalty kill is on. Can they kill it? Pass up to Charlin. Just try to get that puck out of the zone. What they're trying. Ooh, Charlin's gonna get this puck. Charlin could get in if he skates hard. He's gonna be in. He's gonna make a move a shot. He goes far side. And it is Drew Dipsy Dale Charlin with the same move he made in the game versus the Rockford Rams. It is a one goal score for Traverse City. And it is 3-1. That's what we need with 6.35 left in the third. We will not be shut out. Nothing will happen there. We're down to one minute left in the game. This puck is in the zone. Charlotte's going to come down. He's got players in front of the net. Pass over. Out goes. Shot. Pass out. Shot. Scores! Joe Sasina shoots that puck on net from just in front of the blue line and the puck finds a way through the traffic and in the back of the net we have a three to two game ladies and gentlemen i do feel by districts traverse city is going to be a team to be reckoned with because they are playing as a team of rebound and that is andrew speedy beady on the doorstep the rebound was there, and the puck was put home. Saligar is not happy with that, but Saligar's been playing an amazing game. No need to hang your head there, goaltender. It is a one nothing. Other way, run, run, run. Tyler Boyd and Fisher had to make that. We're coming up the ice, come on. Get in that spot. Charlotte, move around the D. He scores! You just missed it. We didn't get there in time. He got it. Drew Charlin had a chance to get in the zone with some time and space and buried the puck. It is a 2-0 lead. We are back to action. Driver City's in the zone again. A pass over. Handled by Saligar. Weaver behind the net. Shot out front. Rebounds. And... Bay City's there. The Blizzard cleans out the mess, but another shot. That puck will find its way. Who is that? Blake Weaver. A little bit of puck luck there as that puck trickled. And I do mean trickle. That puck was moving two miles an hour when it went over the line. <clears throat> Liam Ford. Andrew Speedy Beatty. How do you stop the Jets on that kid? Here he comes. Defenders don't know what they're dealing with. He's all we had. A chance. A good defensive play at the last second by Charbonneau. And another goal. Soper is in front of the net with a rebound. And this game is turning into a one-sided onslaught.
Charbonneau. Shot, rebound. Beatty is there. That's right, Andrew Speedy. Beatty is mock knocking on the door of a 10-goal season right now. I believe that may have put him at that number. I'll have to look at the highlights, and you might see a Andrew Speedy Beatty highlight reel coming to a theater near you. That puck will come back out to the sideboards, put up to the point. Sorensen just fanned on that. Sorensen will move around the DS shot. Rebounds are there. Moving over the sideboards. Sending it back up to Augusta. Back down. Weaver's going to get some time and space. A pass over the ball way. A shot. He scores. That's right. Thatcher Bowway took a perfect pass. Wow. What a perfect feed from Blake Weaver to Thatcher Bowway. Trying to get back down the zone. That puck will be stolen by the Liberty. Kept in the zone by Liam Ford, though. Pass out. And a shot. That's a one-timer by Jackson. Give me the puck, Soper. What a one-time shot. That's what I'm talking about. That's a Jackson Soper special. And oops, every moment she's put there. And we have another goal. I was looking the other way. Who scored that goal? Liam Ford has come up with his first goal of the year. Unless they're calling it off. What are they doing? There may be a penalty first. Let's see. They're going to the glass. Is it a goal or is it not? All right. It is a 3-1 to one lead. Liam Ford has got his first goal on the year. It's tripped but will stay on his feet. Here comes Liberty. Oh, Goss with a chance, a shot. Oh, he gets hammered, but he sets up a goal by Pomondin. What a great movement of the feet. It is a four to one hockey game in the first period. What a play by Alec Goss who went burling into the crease area to score a goal and got hammered, but the puck was loose. And Joe Pomondin put it away. This is Razor Razor Sharp welcoming you back. This is the second period of this hockey tilt. That's right, the Traverse City North Stars are taking on the Birmingham Liberty and Traverse City is out ahead, four to one. They are playing as a team and what happens when you play as a team? You score goals. Here comes Drew Charlin. Drew Charlin's gonna have a look. What a chance, what a shot. What a wrister! Wicked wrister! Anyway. Birmingham Liberty is giving it their effort, though. They're, they definitely are not going to quit. The score means nothing. But here comes Traverse City. It's a 2 on 0. Oh. Weaver and Charlin again. Weaver's got a shot. He goes far side and says, When I get a breakaway, I want to capitalize too. Pass out to Kusterman. Kusterman had a look from far out. We'll go behind the net. Hartle. Charlin. Pass over, broken up by Hartle. Sorensen with a shot. Rebound is there. Drew Davidson. That's right. Drew Davidson was on the doorstep with another. Puck loose and in the net. Robertson. Soper has another goal for the day. Soper is creeping up toward 10 goals on the year. All of a sudden he's coming to life. Bunch of goals in the last few games and good for him. Pomondin. Passes over to Charlin. Nice move there, but picked off by the defense. Moved down by Alec Goss. Pass over. What a play. Alec Goss looked up and saw Joel Plamondin. And they tally together. Face off. Can someone break this shutout? That's what we're looking for now. Here comes Charlin. 
But there's a chance it's going to be Charlotte's going to have a chance to do that. Move to the inside. He's tripped. And Cross is on the doorstep. And he puts the puck away for his third goal of the year. That's right. It may not be fancy. It may be a dirty goal, but he'll take it. We did not want to be shut out, and it is now 5-1. to one. This is Razor Razor Sharp. I have a little more happiness in my heart because the away is Weaver, a shot. Rebound was there, but no one could find it. Power play still on. Weaver. Weaver tried a shot on goal. Lost it. And the goal! Blake Weaver is in front of the net! And Madison gets mixed up for only a split second! And guess what? Blake Weaver made him pay! In the offensive zone, but here it comes out. Here comes the K-Wings. Great hockey game going on here, though. Good battle. Kusterman to the outside. Kusterman just get that puck in the zone. He's going to. He's going to skate hard with that big size. A shot. What a shot. That puck was in and out the other side of the net. What a shot in the top shelf from an impossible angle. That reminded me of the shot Friday night from the Bantam team. Travel North Stars, and I said it would never happen again. <laughs> and it is a one-to-one -one game with a roofer. Active stick there for Lewis to keep it going in that zone. Alec Goss, Augusta, Kusterman, Lewis, and Dawson are on the ice. Here comes Alec Goss. A shot! What a set up by Alec Goss! Alec Goss got to that puck! Had a perfect pass to the front of the net. And Klusterman, one-timer, baby. Two goals on the night goes the K-Man. And I'm here to tell you, when you play as a team, you get team results. And it is two to one for the home team, Trevor City North Stars. Play has expired. Trevor City could not take advantage of that man advantage and did not have much zone time. But here's Speedy. Speedy Beedy! Oh, Weaver! Andrew Speedy Beedy with his head up made a perfect pass to Blake Weaver. And Blake Weaver went to the opposite side. The goaltender was in, and we have a one nothing hockey competition. Nobody home, though. Brady Lewis working hard. Kusterman. Trying to get that puck down low. Skating hard is Davidson. Davidson's going to go around. A little backhand action. Out front. Rebounds are there. Oh, he scores! Alec Goss with a backhand. Found a loose puck. And it's a loose change goal. We're not looking for pretty. We're just looking for successful. And I believe Alec Goss, number 17, backhanded that puck, and it found a way through those bodies and into the net. It is a 3-2 to two hockey game with less than two minutes left. 